When I started my graduate work in the early 40s, I read some papers by Herman Muller, who later got the Nobel Prize in genetics, who pointed out what a deep mystery the gene was at that time. From that point on, I, I really thought about genes and still am thinking about them. Evelyn Witkin pioneered the study of biology's response to DNA damage. Her landmark work in DNA repair has played a vital role in biochemical research. I found that one could not understand how mutations happen in E. coli without understanding what ultraviolet light does to DNA. The particular biochemical nature of the damage was demonstrated by others, and what, what happens in the DNA of bacteria exposed to ultraviolet light is that two of the building blocks that are next to each other become fused, and the effect is something like a snag in a zipper. Witkin's investigations into how the cell deals with the snags in this zipper led to her landmark work on the SOS hypothesis. By the early 70s, in conjunction with Miroslav Rodman, together we proposed that ultraviolet light produces DNA damage, which generates a signal that tells a number of genes in the uh, E. coli genome to turn on. Witkin's career may never have been if it weren't for her courageous stance as a young civil rights activist. I could not graduate with my class and I decided to go to Columbia. I have to say that my having gone to Columbia was the greatest blessing because it was Columbia that had the Cold Spring Harbor connection.